Hello and welcome to the day ahead. It's Wednesday, January the 11th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, it was a mixed session on global markets overnight with stocks in Europe declining. On Wall Street, stocks edged higher towards the close, led by growth shares, following comments from Fed Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, who avoided talking about rates policy among the major S&P 500 sectors. Healthcare rose while retailers and consumer discretionary stocks were boosted by Amazon. Among the worst performing sectors were utilities and real estate. Warner Brothers Discovery shares surged after the Bank of America recommended the stock. Biopharma company Curvac jumped on announcing that it plans to advance trials of its mRNA vaccine for COVID and the flu. And Broadcom tumbled on a report that Apple plans to replace a Broadcom chip in its devices by 2025 with one designed in-house by Apple. And Bed Bath & Beyond has reported a third quarter loss of $393 million with the home goods retailer struggling with sales, which have been hit as the economy has slowed. It has announced last week that it was exploring options, including bankruptcy. Well, some of the world's top central bankers have met in Sweden, talking about how they're tackling the twin threats of climate change and inflation. Fed Reserve Chief Jerome Powell saying the US central bank needs to stay out of politics. Inappropriate for us to use our monetary policy or supervisory tools for example, to promote a greener economy or to achieve other climate-based goals. We are not, and we will not be, a climate policy maker. Meanwhile, Fed Reserve Governor Michelle Bowman has said the central bank will have to raise interest rates further to combat high inflation that will likely lead to a softer jobs market, saying once we achieve a sufficiently restrictive federal funds rate, it will need to remain at that level for some time in order to restore price stability, which will in turn help to create conditions that support a sustainably strong labour market. Well, the US dollar, little changed against other major currencies as it hovers close to its weakest level in seven months. Uh, the Aussie, as you can see there, 68.9. US Treasury yields rose as investors look ahead to the inflation number at the end of the week, with US CPI expected to show December's headline inflation at 6.5%, compared with 7.1% in November. The World Bank has slashed its growth forecast for this year as rate hikes intensify and the war in Ukraine drags on. It's revised its growth expectations from 3% to 1.7%, which would be the slowest pace since the COVID recession and the financial crisis. So to the Australian share market, it is set to rise, reversing yesterday's losses, currently up just over four tenths of a percent. Oil prices have moved higher as the US dollar remains at seven month lows, Brent crude rising to $80 a barrel. Further support came from the US Energy Information Administration, which forecast that global consumption of liquid fuels is forecast to reach 102 million barrels a day in 2024, driven by growth in India and China. Copper prices extended their gains, touching the highest level in six and a half months. And gold prices have held near an eight month peak, buoyed by the weaker dollar and investor hopes of slowing rate hikes. Spot gold at $1,875 an ounce. And recent positive investor sentiment in the crypto market has prevailed, with Bitcoin trading close to $17,500 US dollars. Today locally, we get retail sales and quarterly job vacancies data. That is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.